Good morning to you all. I am preparing this video especially for those people who have some back problem. Uh, like us dentists who always have uh, uh, some kind of cervical spondylosis or lumbar spondylosis or frozen shoulder or uh, hip problems because of the posture in which we people work. I myself had uh, lumbar spondylosis uh, about 10 years back. I have a disc prolapse. Uh, L4 and L5 and I have been uh, keeping myself fit just by change my life uh, with the help of these some of the exercises which is a combination of some stretching exercises and some yoga. So let us start with some basic exercises standing up and then most of the exercises will be lying down. First asan is Udhavatar Asan and make sure that whatever exercise you do when you are stretching you have to inhale and when you are uh, uh, not stretching you have to exhale right the first asan is Udhavatar Asan a simple stretching exercise So whenever you are doing an exercise, when you are stretching, just count for 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that that, that limits the time so the, uh, for 10 seconds. Now I will be doing some simple back stretching. Hip swing. Just to save time, I am doing it five times, but the prefer would be every exercise uh, ten times. You have to do ten times on one side and ten times on the other side. And normally each exercise is done three times, but at times maybe I'll be doing it just once to save time. Otherwise this video will become too big. Then uh, last exercise is simple arm swinging. Now I'll, I'll lie down because those exercises are uh, much more effective especially because it uh, keeps supporting your back because we don't want to put too much stress on the back it is very very sensitive. Sitting or lying down, you have to put, do not put direct strain on your back, basically you have to bend it like this and then like this. So again in this I will do simple stretching.
Ramjan Sai, Black Friend. Now this was Markatasan. Exercises very good for the back. This is Kantarasan. Then we are doing Pavan Muktasan. Inhale. I'll do it once only. On the other side, on the other leg. This is Pabal Moktasan, two types. Now, If you get tired in between, you can go into Shavasana. Don't stress yourself. You have to relax in between. Just leave your body sitting for this. Relax. Now the next exercise. Go 
子的。
visual. some simple sitting down exercises. The first one is Vajrasana. You can sit like this for a while. This will be visible more if I do the next person. Simple back stretching. It's a simple ushtapu. Then we have Ardha Chandrasana.
then some simple exercises for the neck because we are very much prone to have cervical spondylitis also. Back first. Then you have to do it with the pressure.
again each rotation 10 times younger lord can do it much more uh, perfect for more time Now I will be doing Singhasan. This is a combination of Singhasan and Madhurasan and a Pranayama also. So like this. Inhale. So that finishes our basic uh, exercises which will strengthen our back and it doesn't take much long. Almost if you are doing it normal like at my age of 58 or something, uh, I do it for about half an hour. You can do it for 40 minutes, one hour also. Very important thing is to do some pranayams. Uh, which has become all the important uh, in the COVID times because it will improve your lung capacity. So I have selected only five or six of these pranayams which are very simple. But before that, there are three things called bands. Band. One is Jalandar band, one is Udiya band and one is Mool band. So in, just to make it more visible, I will again turn side. In Jalandar Bandh, you inhale and stop your breath at the neck level. In Udir Bandh, you inhale and stop your breath at the stomach level. And in the Mool Bandh, you inhale and stop your breath at the uh, pelvis level. So, first Jalandar Bandh. Then moon bun, just have to make this area tight. Now we will do some pranayams. Average each pranayam has to be done for about uh, 10 minutes, but then it is depending on you. Don't tire yourself. You can do it less number of times, say for 3 minutes also, uh, but gradually you can increase the time. I normally would do it for about 3 to 4 minutes each pranayam. So first is 
opposite of Rajna. There you have to forcefully exhale and breathe. Exhale and breathe. But that doesn't do not move your belly. The exhalation and inhalation has to be in the diaphragm only. Now I am doing first trigger. So exhalation and inhalation is given a vigorous thrust. Now we have uh, Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati in that we are concentrating more, or more on our exhalation. So in Kapalabhati basically we are focused more on exhalation. So you take the air in, exhale and then the stomach has to come out. So that is how it is. Then after that we are doing anulong below. So your finger goes like this and like this. So start from the left side. So you have to inhale from left side, exhale from right side, then inhale from right side, exhale from right side, then inhale from left side and exhale from right side. So this is how it has to be done. So it is just inhalation, exhalation, very good pranayama, anulom below. Then we have uh, Brahmari pranayama. Close your eyes and ears like this and inhale and exhale. And exhalation has to be at this level. So I do it again. So, when you are exhaling, you are focusing on here, like Brahmari, Mahura, just like that, it is like that. Very good for your throat, thyroid and all those things. Then last would be Om Uchara, basically Om Jab, which again you have to see your breast moving from your nose downwards. Slowly, very slowly. Take a deep breath.
So guys, you see your breath moving from your nostrils downwards. So that is all about the various uh, pranayams. Some tips for the back people, people who are suffering from back. Basically, you have to, it this becomes part of your life. Like, like this has become part of my life. So forward bending during your clinical procedures is not good. Don't do standing dentistry, do sitting dentistry. And that also, when you are using loops and all, then you tend to bend less. Heavy weights not to be picked up. When you have to pick up something from below, you have to bend on your knees and pick it up. Don't bend on your hips. Then your bed has to be little higher than normal. Say about say six inches. Make it six inches higher. Uh, maybe you can put some wooden pliers behind the normal pliers of your bed. The uh, uh, the uh, mattress should be a uh, hard mattress. There, there are those uh, back supporting mattresses available in the market. Must go and buy that. Never use uh, uh, Indian toilet. Always use the Western toilet, and that also has to have a normal a normal height. It should not be too low. And of course, you have to. Take care of yourself, you have to strengthen your back because none of these medicines, they will give you relief for some time. You may be advised some even surgical procedures for taking care of your uh, prolapsed disc and all, but all those things should not be done, should be avoided unless it is uh, necessary. And strengthen your back by doing these basic exercises which will keep you healthy. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you.